What's up everyone, Coach Laxball here. Today I want to talk about what is potentially one of the most confusing rules in girls lacrosse, the shooting space foul. Let's go! So there we are on the lacrosse field. The other team has a sweet breakaway coming down the field. Our girl does a great job, leaves her girl, goes over to play the girl coming down on the fast break to make sure she doesn't score a goal and... From boys lacrosse, right? We've got to help. You've got to slide. You've got to go. Fire. Hot person. Whatever you want to call it. They've got to go and stop the ball coming down so they don't get a shot. Whoa. In girls lacrosse, I just had a rude awakening. You cannot just slide to the ball carrier like that. It changes in girls lacrosse. And why does it change? Safety. The number one reason. The number one reason why in girls lacrosse we have a shooting space rule is simply because of safety taking a shot when you don't have the appropriate equipment ouch it's not a safe thing so after that play happened in that game i had to figure out exactly what's going on with shooting space fouls and i've done a bunch of research online i found a bunch of youtube videos i'll link some of the really good ones down below but trust me you don't have to watch all of it i'm going to condense it into a nice short form here for you today so, shooting space foul. There have to be three main criteria for a shooting space foul to be called, so I've learned. Number one, the ball's got to be in the critical scoring area, meaning you can't be on your defensive end of the field way back trying to score a goal. So where's the critical scoring area? Here you can see it on this map. It's about that 12 meter space and in. Once you're inside that critical scoring area, that's the first rule. Number two, the Dodger has to have intent to score. They need to look like they're going to goal. They need to look like they're trying to go to the cage. If they're not going to the cage, then they're not really going to shoot, and therefore there's no real shooting space. And number three on the list, you've got to be in the shooting lane. There is essentially a triangle. There's a great video again. I'll link it down below that will show you exactly what that triangle looks like, that shooting lane. To be in the shooting lane, you essentially have a rope attached to both of your hips. One line goes directly to one side of the goal. The other line goes to the other side of the goal. And more specifically, it goes to the crease, to the outside of the crease. That is your shooting space. So it is a triangle from the shooter, the person with the ball, to the outside of the crease. If you are inside the critical scoring area, you're ready to go shoot a goal. You're acting like you're going to shoot a goal. And somebody is inside that shooting space that shouldn't be. So that's the basic three rules that it takes to call a shooting space foul. Now, how do you defend against it? Well, first and foremost, a defender can't simply just run into the shooting space to stop a shot. They have to approach the ball carrier in a different way. You can't just put your body in that space. What you want to do is you're going to put your stick out. You're going to put your stick inside that shooting lane. There's no rules against your stick in the shooting lane. So we're going to put our stick in the shooting lane until we get one stick length away from the Dodger. That's right. One stick length away. Once you are one stick length away from the Dodger, meaning you're right up next to them, you are now a defender and you can be inside that shooting lane. You can be inside their shooting space and it's not a shooting space foul because you are actively guarding that person. That is the shooting space rule. Hopefully that helps you out. Again, I'm going to put more links down below to get you a more in-depth understanding of it and some of the variations of why you could be or can't be in the shooting lane. There's a number of different rules with it, just like everything else, but I hope this quick little teaser gave you enough to understand what is a shooting space foul. Thanks for stopping by this week, and don't forget the little things. If you don't have a girls lacrosse dabbing unicorn, do you even really coach girls lacrosse?